Hello students and welcome back to another history class of standard 9. Today we are going to be looking at the second part of the lesson science and technology. So let's get going. In the first part of the video we had seen India's achievement in the areas of science and technology. We had also seen some of the important institutions in the areas of science and technology and their contributions. Some of the important organizations were the Indian Atomic Energy Commission, the Dhruva Nuclear Reactor, the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited. Then we had also looked at the various nuclear tests that is the first nuclear test and the second nuclear test that India had conducted. We also looked at the missile development program and the contribution of our ex prime president of India Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam or who is otherwise also known as the missile man of India. So in today's module we will continue after this part. So today we are going to be looking at the points such as space research, Indian space research organization ISRO, the technological progress that took place in India, the satellite communication center, oil and natural gas commission and the railways and technology. So let us now look at the progress that India achieved in the field of space research. In 1961, the Indian National Committee for Space Research that is the NCSR launched India's first research rocket from Thumba Equatorial Launch Center in Thumba in the state of Kerala. Now this rocket was sent for the purpose of researching. Later in 1969, our indigenously built that is entirely built in India using products that were Indian made. So our indigenously built rocket Rohini 75 was successfully launched. And after this, the next stage was the successful launch of the first Indian satellite Aryabhat in 1975. However, we were supported and helped by Soviet Union during our launch of the first Indian satellite Aryabhat. This success proved that Indian scientists can indigenously build and launch a satellite. Indian scientists were confident that they could acquire the technology for sending a message from the earth station and to assess the working of the satellite. Let us now study another important organization that has changed the face value of India in contribution towards space research. The Indian Space Research Organization ISRO. After the success of the basic program in space research and rocket related projects, the Indian Space Research Organization was established on 15th August 1969 in order to carry out further space research. The headquarters of ISRO are at Bengaluru. ISRO activated the space station at Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh for launching our satellites in space. And as, as we have known that after its launch, India has successfully been able to carry out further space research and wherein in 2017, 104 satellites were launched in a single mission from ISRO and recently in 2019 the Chandrayaan 2 was also launched. So these are all thanks to the effort of the organization Indian Space Research Organization. Let us look at the further achievements that India made in the field of space research. Bhaskar 1. India launched remote sensing experimental satellite Bhaskar 1 from the Soviet Union in 1979 
in order to observe various things on the surface of the earth by remote sensing technology. This remote sensing technology would be useful for India's development by regarding water bodies, mineral deposits and forecasting the weather. The photographs taken with the help of this technology about the bowels of the earth that is the interior of the earth, environment and forests were very important. Another area in which the information from this satellite was useful was oceanography. In 1981, Bhaskar II was also launched from the Soviet Union. Let's look at the next development that is Apple or the Ariane Passenger Payload Experiment. The first completely indigenously built satellite by ISRO in India, Apple was launched on 19 June 1981 from the French Guiana. Apple was beneficial in the field of education. The objective of providing emergency telecommunication services was also successful. Let us look at the next endeavor that is the Indian National Satellite or the INSAT. In August 1983, the satellite INSAT-1B was launched in space. Now because of this satellite, a major revolution came about in the areas of telecommunication, television, radio, weather forecasting and space research in India. Due to INSAT 207 Akashwani or radio stations could be connected to each other. This mechanism was also useful for search and rescue of people caught in some disasters like a shipwreck or an airplane crash for forecasting weather to look for and follow cyclones or storms in the fields of telemedicine and educational institutions. The telemedicine service enabled the population from remote areas to get advice and treatment from expert doctors. The public primary health centers in villages have been connected with super speciality hospitals through INSAT. So now let us move our attention from space research towards the earth and let us see what kind of progress India made in the field of technology? Well, a factory manufacturing railway engines, the Chitranjan Locomotive Works, was set up at Chitranjan in Bardwan district in West Bengal. Steam engines, electric engines, and engines running on diesel were manufactured here. The first diesel engine was manufactured at the Diesel Locomotive Works at Varanasi. India also started exporting railway engines to Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Tanzania and Vietnam. The Department of Telecommunications under the Ministry of Communications started the Telex service in 1963 to transmit typed messages from one part of the country to another rapidly. This was another improvement in the telecommunication industry. In 1969, the telex service started in Devanagari strip in Delhi. Later, it spread all over the country. This service began to be used in different fields and with the rise of internet after the 1990s, the significance of this service has however been reduced. As you can see in the given images alongside uh, the image of the tele telex machine and uh, a few more details can be seen about the telex machine. Let us know a little bit in detail about the development in the communication industry that happened. In order to establish satellite communication with the help of an artificial satellite, a domestic satellite communication earth station was established in 1967 at Jodhpur Tekra near Ahmedabad. Now this, in the, in the given image you can see that how the waves were captured uh, from the earth station and were sent to the satellite and again they were sent to another receiving earth station and that is how the signal was transmitted. 
This made it easy to train scientists and technicians in setting up and running an earth station within the country. In 1970, a center was established at RV near Pune equipped for international communication service. Let us look at some developments that took place in the field of telecommunication. The PIN code. From 15th August 1972, the Post and Telegraph Department started the six digit PIN code system in the country. The postal index code was intended to bring efficiency in distributing the mail or the letters. In this system, the country was divided into nine regions. The first digit of the PIN code indicates the region, the second digit indicates the sub region, and the third digit shows the main disbursement district, while the remaining three digits show the location of the local post office. For Maharashtra, 40, 41, 42, 43 and 44 are the first two digits. Later in 1986, the speed post service was started to send postage rapidly. Moving on to the International Subscriber Dialing Telephone Service or the ISD. In 1972, the Overseas Communication Service was established in Mumbai for the management of International Telecommunication Service. In 1976, the International Subscriber Dialed Telephone Service was started to connect Mumbai and London directly on phone. Alongside the telephone service, services like the telex, teleprinter and radio images were started. In 1986, Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited, VSNL, took a big leap in this field. Before that, Mahanagar Telephone Nigam Limited, the MTNL, was a public sector company for giving telephone service in big cities. In the 1990s, the Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited held the distinction of being the main internet service provider in India. The contribution of Sam Pitroda in this field is very significant. Let us look at the another communication service that is the mobile phones. On 22nd August 1994, the mobile phone service started in India. At this time, a mobile handset cost rupees 45,000 and calling was at rupees 17 per minute. By 1990, many private companies came in this field and this made the services cheaper. The BSNL or the Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited. In 2000, the telecommunication department was restructured. The responsibility to make policy decisions was retained with the telecom department and Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited was established to actually provide the services to consumers. Along with the telephone service, cellular phone, internet, broadband services were also made available. The Oil and Natural Gas Commission or the ONGC In 1956, the Oil and Natural Gas Commission was established to search for the deposits of mineral oil and natural gas and to increase their production. After Digboy in Assam, mineral oil deposits were found in Ankleshwar area in Gujarat. Later, mineral oil and natural gas deposits were found in the Gulf of Khambat in Gujarat. In 1974, the Oil and Natural Gas Commission started digging an oil well in Bombay High area with the help of Russian scientists by a drill ship called Sagar Samrat. From 1975, mineral oil and natural gas began to be extracted from there. Later, more than 8,500 oil wells and 33 natural gas wells were dug eventually in this area and they began to contribute 38% of the total mineral oil production in the country and they also met 14% of the country's demand for crude oil. Let us now look at the progress 
and development of railways and technology. The technology adopted by railways has a big role in the history of modern India. In order to bring efficiency, accuracy and coordination in the reservation system in rail travel, the computerized reservation system was started for the first time in Delhi in 1984. And in the same year, the metro was started in Kolkata. Let us know a little bit more about the Konkan Railway. The Konkan Railway was started in 1998. There are several records of technology to the credit of Konkan Railway which stretches over four states of Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka and Kerala and covers over a distance of 760 kilometers. There are 12 tunnels on this track. The 6.5 km tunnel at Karbude is the longest tunnel. There are 179 big and 1819 small bridges on this track. Out of these, the 2065.8 meters long bridge on river Sharavati near Honavar is the biggest. The 64 meter tall bridge on river Panwal near Ratnagiri is India's tallest bridge. For avoiding accidents on tracks that are prone to landslides, there are sensors fitted to the railway engines also. In this way, India has been making progress in the fields of science and technology. New inventions have been made. India is an important 21st century nation which has always used technology for establishing peace in the world. India is making all these advancements in order to be the foremost among nations in the 21st century. We have concluded the lesson children. Let us now proceed to some of the evaluation questions. Let's look at the few evaluation questions here. Explain the following concepts. Space research. Children for this answer you can go to the a paragraph from the text where uh, it is talking about space research on page 39 and from there you can write down the points for this. The next question that is a telex, telex service. For that answer you can go to page 40 of your textbook and in the passage there, uh, there it is talking about how it was set up and uh, uh, when it began and how it began and so a little bit detail is given over there. So you can write those points for this answer. The next question, write in brief, write the key features of the Konkan Railway. For this answer children, you can go to page 41 of your textbook in which you have that box, blue box where they have given about the Konkan Railway and you can write the points from there for this answer as to when it was started and uh, how many, uh, what area it covers, what distance it covers and everything about the tallest uh, bridge and the longest tunnel and all those points and uh, you can write for this particular answer. Okay. I hope this uh, video has been useful to you and uh, uh, we will meet again in another video soon. Till then, happy learning. Thank you students. See you soon in another video.